yes, there is such a factorial called the hyperfactorial, right? So I didn't know about this, that some of the viewers, they suggest me to check that out and had, yeah, I saw the definition, I'll show you guys two really cool things in this video, right? Of course, I will have to show you guys the notation, but unfortunately, we ran out of the exclamation mark notation, okay? Because for the regular factorial, we put that behind the number, and then for the sub-factorial, we put that exclamation mark in the front. For this one, do not put it on the top, don't, seriously, don't. The notation that we are going to follow is H. I know it's not so crazy, it's not, yeah, it's not too, yeah, yeah, H, just H, right? And we put an H of N like this, and to, to use this definition, you have to make sure N is the past the whole number. Here we go. This right here is defined to be still N, but you are going to raise that to the nth power. And then you are going to go down by 1, which you have N minus 1, but you are going to take this and raise to itself, so n minus 1 power. And the pattern keeps on going, n minus 2 raised to the n minus 2 power, and so on, so on, so on. You just keep multiplying these things, and then up to 2 uh, to the second power, and then 1 to the first power. This is the hyperfactorial. Notice this is technically only good for n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Pass the whole numbers only, please. First thing right here, let me calculate h of 5. So, by definition, you see that this is just going to be 5 to the 5 times 4 to the 4 times... Yeah, I think you guys can see why this is called the hyperfactorial. <laughs> anyway, 3 to the 3rd power times 2 to the 2nd times 1 to the 1, just like that. Of course, you can multiply this out, but uh, that's not so fun, but let me show you, okay? So, here we go. This right here, of course, means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And it means, of course, 4 times 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 And now, check this out. What I'm going to do is, I will pair numbers up. What I'm going to do right here, so check this out. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to pair some of these numbers up. And the way I'm going to do is, I will pair 4 times 3, which is 12, and then times 2. Right? So this right here are in red. 4 times 3 is 12, and then times 2 is 24. Right? And then next, I will pair up, I will produce 60. I guess we'll see why 60. But let's see, I, to get 60, I will have to do 5 times 4, that's 20, and times 3. So maybe I'll use that. So I will do this. I'll do this one in blue, right? So this right here is 5, 4, which is uh, 20, and then another 3, which is going to be 60. So that's good. So multiply by 60. Yay. And then, let's see if I have... Uh, green marker, which I do. Christmas time, of course, I have to have some green. Let me produce another 60 for you guys. In that case, I will have to do 5 times 4. Let me just do like this, like this, and then one more 3. So this is going to be another 60, isn't it? Check this out. This is the number of seconds in a minute, and then this is the number of minutes in an hour, and this is the number of hours in a day. And you might be wondering, so what's the rest then? Well, well, if you multiply 5 and 2, that's going to be 10, that's okay. And then if you break down the 4 as 2 times 2, so if you pair this up and this up, this is another 10, and you pair this up and this up, this is another 10. So as we can see, this right here tells you the number of seconds in a day, but because we have the thousands right here, altogether, this is the number of milliseconds in a day. So let me write it down for you guys. And I think this is super, super cool. This is what hyperfactorial 5 represents. Really nice, really nice, really nice. The hyperfactorial 5 represents the number of milliseconds in a day. And now, I'll show you guys a second interesting thing. I know you guys are going to ask me this, so I'll just show you guys, right? So look at this again, and this part is the same as h of n minus 1. So we can come with the recursive formula, huh? So let me write it down. Notice h of n, the hyperfactorial of n, this is equal to n to the n times the hyperfactorial of n minus 1, like that. And you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug in n is equal to 1. In that case, you see that h of 1 is equal to 1 to the first power 
times h of 1 minus 1, which is 0. Well, well, h of 1, you can use this definition. It's just simply 1 to the first power, namely, you get 1. And then 1 to the 1, of course, is 1. And you just have h of 0. Yes, this factorial, the hyperfactorial of 0, this is also equal to 1. Perhaps I will ask you guys, can we do negative hyperfactorial? You can leave a comment down below and let me know. But anyway, I think this is really, really, really cool. And next time, I'll show you guys super factorial. And as always, this right here is it. And if you guys have any questions, just keep on down below and let me know. And subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thank you guys so much.